Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> well, I'm in day two of, actually it's been about a week of this, but I'm in day two of dealing with this and today I will actually need to be working from home because of it. And uh, when I say this, I mean, can you tell from my voice? <laughs> Excuse me, I've been sick. Um, okay, one of the things that I want to do is stop a minute and just like have a cup of coffee. Mm. There's something about a warm liquid in the morning that just helps you feel soothed. It could be cocoa, it could be chicken broth, or it could be coffee or hot tea. Whatever helps you. But it, it just, it's, it's that kind of comforting warmth that just helps. So I'm having my cup of coffee. And this is the Krispy Kreme Smooth Keurig. Um, I am going to do a quick bloom haul and then I can get right to my face. One of the things that I recently got, and this is for the um, the Bible study room, is Hope, Romans 5.5. 5. Go read that if you haven't ever read it before. Go read that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this is a really cool piece that I'm going to be hanging up in there. And again, that is from Bloom Organics. And then I got a pair of earrings, and that's why I just felt the need that I had to do this today. Um, they put them in these real pretty little silky bags um, because I wanted to put these earrings on. And they're very, very pretty like little um, droplets, if you will, like a, um, almost like a rounded edge diamond shape. And they're the marcasites. And marcasites are like little, like little black diamonds, don't they? And I just thought that would look so good today. And I know you're probably thinking if you're working from home, what do you care? I, I still think that you, um, you know, you need to get up, get yourself ready, and um, do the things that you would do. <clears throat> Again, very, very pretty. I don't know if that's going to focus good. Um, do the things that you would do getting ready. Um, I do think mentally it helps make a shift. I think bodily it helps make a shift in your body. And... Um, I know you're probably like, Beth, you can't trick your brain. Actually, you most certainly can trick your brain. There's all kinds of things you do as an athlete to trick your brain and thinking it can go when you physically can't go anymore. And people have the ability, uh, I think they call it stamina, to make themselves keep going even when um, they feel like they can't go on anymore. And that is what pushes your body, <laughs> is your brain. Is telling it, no, you will keep running. No, you will keep lifting weight. No, you will. And... Um, the Bible talks us about gaining control of our thoughts. And I think that's because the, that's the way God made us is for our mind control ourselves, not ourselves to control our mind. Okay, I'm not going to get off on that subject too deep. I am using the end of Charlotte Tilbury's Mini Miracle Eye Wand. And this is in shade number, I think it's two. Yes, two. This is a sample and I am fixing to reorder this because... One side is an under eye cream, and it just is so convenient, is the first thing I want to say about it. Now, obviously, this isn't because it's a little tubey thing. But, um, and so it's not as convenient as the real thing would be. But, and I think that is the last of it. Um, it's just convenient to have the eye cream and the eye brightener together. And if you don't have anything to conceal, I don't know that we need to be using so much concealer. Concealer's being so pushed right now. But this is so nice and gel-like that you literally can do this. You don't even have to pat it in. I do also rub it in real good to the crow's feet. And um, you can even go over the eye. You know, over here. Maybe it could even serve as a primer. Because all primer is is it gets it nice and um, honestly dampened um, to use. Well, there's a little chunk of it that had dried. But that's still usable, y'all. There we go. And, um, again, it's just, it's very moisturizing. Um, Charlotte Tilbury takes a lot of pride in the fact that she does a lot of scientific work to make sure that her products are good quality ingredients. And I just re have respect for that in her. Her products are more, and it is because she does that. So, that being said, I've got some leftover makeups that didn't come all the way off last night. Obviously, when I took my makeup off, I wasn't feeling good, so I don't think I did a very good job. Yeah, I'm still seeing a lot of 
little pieces of mascara on my lashes. Does that happen to y'all? You'll think you got all your makeup off and then you wake up the next morning and you're still taking makeup off from the night before. Okay, so let me just make sure. Now I just rubbed it all back on my face after I did that. Some that's little hairs. That was a little hair. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'm going to get out my little makeup <clears throat> towel to wipe my fingers off from the lotion. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will just, without <clears throat> thinking, I'm very, very tight. <clears throat> I think the worst thing you can do is talk when you have this. So, <clears throat> maybe I'll just do a lot more showing than talking. Okay. And so, now I'm putting on, <clears throat> it says the ultimate soft focus eye brightener now brightener <clears throat> is a color more than a concealer okay now this concealer is somewhat color so the difference is the eye brightener is a little thinner in its texture this is a little more watery than a thick concealer but i think that's good and it's usually a little lighter most concealers are one to sh one to two shades lighter than the um what am i trying to say foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and use this over stay away from the actual tear duct I'm going on the nose bone there I don't know if y'all can see that and I am going in this little crease and this little crease and then just kind of blending this out in the cheek I do keep having little pieces of mascara come off okay so now I am gonna pat this in like you would a concealer yeah this is so honestly it's so thin you can't even pat it in it pats it right back off <laughs> So let that just set is what my advice would be. And just see, it's a slight difference. It's just a brightener around the eye area. But I like it. I actually like it a lot. I think the reason I like it is because it feels so thin. It doesn't feel so thick. Um, I am going to put it in places where there's red, just like you would a concealer. It also smells wonderful. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Y'all, that smells so good. It's almost like perfume. Am I walking billboard for Charlotte Tilbury or what? I do believe in her products. I believe in her packaging. Y'all know I think her packaging is second to none. Um, I used to think that Chanel and its sleek packaging as far as just the plain black and white and their brand. But I think Charlotte Tilbury's even beat Chanel when it comes to that. In that it is just beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and fill these pores a little bit on my nose. Um, this is very, also just noticed, this is very luminescent. I forgot about that, so I don't want too much on the end. Actually, I do want the end. Um, and then I'm going to go over my lid. Just almost treat this like a primer. It's a very nice smoothing effect. And then I am going to kind of pat this in. Going down in that little crease there. And these little things. And where it's usually red right here. Now I'm going to put mascara, I mean, uh, foundation over this. <coughs> it just occurred to me it might be best to do this step afterward. So we'll see. That is the most wonderful smelling product. I hadn't noticed that before. Anyway, again, this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Miracle Eye Wand, Mini Miracle Eye Wand. And on one end is the moisturizer for the under eye area. And the other is an illuminator. <coughs> so, it says it lifts and illuminates. So, I'm wondering, I need to go read up on it, if it has lifting properties in it. Meaning that... Um, that it will, um, as it dries, actually lift the eye. And some products do that. I'm trying to say moist here. Um, I need also to switch to decaf because caffeine is a natural dehydrator. So when you're dehydrated, be sure and switch to decaf. Um, this morning, I was going to use what I used yesterday, and that was It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. The reason it's CC Plus is because it actually... Uh, CC means color corrector, and so this has color correcting agents in it, but it also has a full coverage cream foundation, and it has an anti-aging um, hydrating serum, plus it has 50 plus at, um, SPF for both UVA and UVB, broad spectrum, physical sunscreen, chemical filter free, and paraben free. Y'all, this is an awesome product. This is in the color light. I wore this yesterday, and I looked so moist. <laughs> And it's, I guess, because that um, hydrating serum was quite a moisturizer. I didn't need a moisturizer, and I had moisturizer on. So, highly recommend that product. It is heavy, so do not put it under your eyes. Use your, your brightener 
or a very light concealer for under your eyes. But anyway, this is the Bourjois um, Paris Foundation Radiance Reveal Healthy Mix, Healthy Glow, and Flawless Com Complexion Hydrated and Luminous Skin Foundation. That is way too long. It's just, just call it Healthy Mix. But this supposedly rivals or is made by, I don't know if this is true or not, Chanel. So we're going to see how this does. Um, it also has fruit therapy in it. So it, um, it's supposed to be a, a flawless coverage, hydrating, and luminous from fruit. Okay, and it is a pump product. So let me get out my, this is a Sigma <clears throat> F80 flat kabuki. And we're going to do one pump. Why one pump? Maybe one and a half. <coughs> because yesterday I did two pumps, and of course that was a different foundation, but it was way too much. So just kind of go on and get the general space area covered. And then go back. And I'm going to make sure I got really good coverage on these um, age spots. <laughs> Now, again, all foundation does is kind of neutralize the playing field. In other words, you use foundation to kind of get the same color all over on your face. So, uh, it's not meant to be full coverage in the sense that it covers every flaw. That is what concealer is for. So, <clears throat> but it is supposed to cover enough that it gives kind of like a good canvas for the rest of your makeup routine. Go under our nose. Make sure you're getting that crux real good with the edge. You just don't want product building up right there. It looks gross. Especially if you're one of those people that has a high sitting little no nose edges. If you sit high on that area, make sure you blend out really, really good. And I'm going to use the leftover on my brow. I don't use a lot of foundation on my brow, y'all. Just whatever's left over after I finish my face. And then I just stamp it in real good. 